नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्णा वृष्णाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नमस्ते सारस्वते देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारि निर्विशेषाय शून्यवादी पाशा जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैतनाथ श्रीवासि गौरवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नाउ व्हाट वी आर रीडिंग एज अ ज्वेल दिस इज 11 यू नो 11 पॉइंट्स made by one of the greatest acharyas rupa goswami and this is the essence of the whole vedic knowledge and we read 1 2 3 the first verse he talked about how to become jagat guru and he talked how we should control our tendency to speak we have a, all of us want to speak a lot we should be very careful what we speak watch over it mana we should control our mind mind gets attached mind gets angry at somebody control the mind mana sa guru the way then jiva the tendency of the tongue is there to eat uh, anything so we should control that udara we should see that belly is straight we should not expand and then genital we should take care sex to the end of the control now i say that these are the six pushing of the body and if these six pushings are controlled person will become very peaceful not only that he is fit to make shishya all around the world correct right? that's the success of life to control this six pushing because if these six pushings are controlled then i can go to krishna consciousness proper say that the disturbed mind you cannot capture krishna the mind has to be calm and the mind will come with this six pushings are under pushings of tendency to talk or the pushing of the mind that attached and repels and then pushing to the body in terms of uh, eating anything they should be regulated what do we eat not overeating and controlling the genitals now the next shloka after that he talks about uh, this this for the very basic thing and uh, any new fight the body can focus and try to follow the next shloka he talks about how spiritual life Any obstructed, he says, don't overeat. Atyahara, prayasa, don't overindulge. Don't do something which creates him more anxiety. You know, it's so much anxiety that you cannot even do your normal activity. Don't do that. That will disturb your service to the Lord because you cannot meditate on the service. Atyahara, prayasa, prajalpa. Don't talk nonsense and talk about Krishna. Atyahara, prayasa, the prajalpa. Niyama agraha. Sincerely follow the rules and regulation. Jana Sangha. Uh, don't keep company with unwanted people, and don't be greedy for one day achievement. All of these things will destroy your spiritual life. Then last Sunday we did. He said three things which will enhance your devotion. He said Utsah, we should be very enthusiastic to serve Krishna. We should be very enthusiastic, and just like here we have the deity, we should be very enthusiastic when I get chance. What service I can do to the deity? The sana, nishya, we should be very determined. You know, our dharya should have uh, nishya also in the sense of confidence. We should have confidence. Yes, our should also be Krishna. Last time we discussed. And dharya, we should be very patient. It's not that in one day I'll become a pure devotee. We should be patient. Tat tat karma pravartana. We should follow all the rules and regulations very carefully. Very strictly, and then usan eshya dhyaya tat tat karma pravartana sangatya. We should give up the company of again. It talks about sangatya. Give up the company of unwanted people, and sato vritti. We should follow the footsteps of the great acharyas. Now this sanga sanga has come two times. Sangatya ga, asat sanga. Now, if you give up the company, give up the company, give up the company, then the question will be, whose company we keep, and how do we keep company? What is the principle of association? Association is very important. 
In fact, many people, we understand that we should become a nice devotee, but it does not happen by wishful thinking. So you have to carefully discriminate. There is a very nice shloka which comes from that. It says that some people we should love, some people should have friendship. He says, Ishara Tadadineshu Balisheshu Dusheshu Cha. Preva Maitri Kripa Upeksha Yakaruti Samatema. This is the first principle of association. If you see the Lord, just like we see Krishna here with love, who's on? Then you see his servants. If you are also trying to be servant of the Lord, definitely we feel affection, friendship. Are he is trying to serve my Lord, he is very happy about it. Huh? Just like they have an example. Uh, if you meet somebody and you pat his child, father or mother become very happy. You know, because they are attached to the child. Similarly, Lord is very attached to his servant. So when you are showing affection to them, that also enhances your devotion to the Lord. So what we should do? The first principle of the Lord, we should have love. Full Sangha. And with the devotees, we should cultivate friendship. Then, to the innocent people, you know, there are some people who want to advance in Krishna consciousness. We give them instruction, we give them guidance. And then there are some people who are envious. They're always there. Ignore them. Only to get angry. Don't waste your boil your blood and ignore them. Now, how to live? This looks clear and practical because this full, the world is full of non-devotees. If you search, sometimes what happens, uh, students come and they become devotees, but when they go to their uh, companies or colleges, sometimes, you know, we don't know where you're going to work. And mostly, hardly, you know, that Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Manusha Nam Sahasreshu, among thousands of men, one person wants perfection. And Yatatam of Siddhanam, Kashima, among them there is one rare soul who actually has a Shant Krishna. So the devotee of God is very rare actually. Correct? Okay? They're living in apartment, you see there are 60, 80 families living, and in that not even one person is interested in Krishna consciousness. And how do I deal with them? How do I deal with them? Uh, Krishna says, ignore them, but I ignore everybody. How do I go to my office? Ignore everybody. Then, how do I live? Yes, there is a science which is explained here. The science is this. Okay, before coming to that, one more thing which comes next class, but I'll give a synopsis because I opened it. Even among devotees, there are three classes of devotees. We should deal with them differently. There is Kanishta, there is Madhima, there is Dutta. Kanishna means he is uh, wants to serve Krishna but uh, not very determined. He is bobbling in his faith. He likes Krishna consciousness because devotees are very nice. Krishna is very nice. That much is there. But he is not taking shelter of a pure devotee and not executing sadhana seriously under that. And he's more into Krishna consciousness because of, you know, social. The nice people. Many times it happens. And, but he is not becoming serious about going back to Krishna's kingdom. And sometimes his faith is also easily shaken up. Realizations are not complete. Philosophy is also not complete. This is one stage called Kanishta, also called in Sanskrit Prakita Sanajika. Beginning. Just like Komal Shabda, the plant starts, it always, anything big has a beginning. He has begun his spiritual life, some faith is there. Definitely he uh, has respect for the Lord. Even for Acharya, he has a respect. But he is not able to deal with the devotees at all. And that is the reason is that the love for the Lord has not, on the spiritual master, has not properly manifested. If you love somebody, you also love 
is people needed. You cannot say, I love Prabhupada, or I love Krishna, but I don't love his servant. It is not possible. There is a contradiction there. So in a conditional situation, actually he loves, he says he loves, but we have a doubt because why does he envy the devotees of the Lord? There is some problem there. This is Kanishtha situation. It happens because of Kanishtha. You know, when we love the Lord, we love his servants also because it includes them. Krishna is never alone. Krishna is with Radharani, Krishna is with his Gopas, Krishna is with the cows. When we love Krishna, we also love the things around him. So it cannot be independent. So in the beginning stage, and mostly we are in that stage, when this stage is a Kanishtha situation, we may say, yes, I have faith in Krishna, I love Krishna, but I have no affection for his service. And this is called Kanishtha situation. In Madhiva situation, he discriminates, and in the devotees, he discriminates in three ways. Uh, okay, first, how do we deal with Kanishtha? With the Kanishtha, we should give him all honor in the mind, because he is chanting the name of the Lord. He is a servant of the Lord. Who does that? Madhavan. Kanishtha cannot do all this. Uh, Kanishtha also does good work. And the next, when we see somebody who is very sincerely engaged in the devotion service, that is Madhavan. So even if you see a Kanishtha who has even once chanted in the name of the Lord, we should give him all due honor in the heart. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Bhagavatam says, Aho, Pato, Sopacho, Api, Gariyan. This man has taken the name of the Lord on his tongue. How glorious is he? We should give him all respects from the heart. So it's not easy to chant the name of the Lord. Some people, even in the Kirtan, mouth is not open only. It's not easy. And the holiness of the Lord is so pure. It's, it's, it's a great fortune to chant those names. So not everybody is so fortunate. Okay, so we should be very happy even somebody begins chanting. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he used to tour all over South India or even to Vrindavan, on the way he over he went, please chant him of Krishna. And if the person chanted Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so happy. Okay, that is a, a symptom. So we should be very glad and we give him all honor within our heart and all affection. And second situation, when you see somebody who is now Firmly fixed in the devotion service to the Lord. Firmly fixed. And wants to spread Krishna consciousness. We give him even physical obeisances. But when we see somebody who is absorbed in Samadhi on the Lord, that is Uttama, we should surrender our life to him. That is a guru. Correct? You understand? There is Kanishtha, Madhima, Uttama. Kanishtha can be what we can say, Vartama Pradakshak Guru. Always he can do that. Very simple. It is there. Yeah, what I should chant Hare Krishna. Very nice. But if you ask questions, you get confused. Don't ask too much. I get confused. But you can always do that. That we can always do. Please read Bhagavad Gita. Who cannot say that? You are benefited. Correct? You know? Like that. And always. Prabhupada says at least you can always tell people chant Krishna's name. Your life will be successful. And as Sunday I go to temple, it is very nice. You also should come. That service Kanishna can do. Madhyama, he is philosophically very sound. He can do work of what is known as Siksha Guru. Siksha Guru means very competently he can guide people to serve Krishna. That is also not easy. Madhyama platform is also not easy. Radha Prabhupada should tell his uh, GBC, who are the topmost you know, sannyasis, you should try to become Siksha Guru. He is telling them, try to become Siksha Guru. That is also not easy. We should not take for granted. Uh, some people say that just I am wearing thread, I am uh, Brahmin, I am Madhima. No. Rather, a Brahmin is a Kanishtha Dikari. Any Brahmana who is sincerely following rules and regulations, doing puja or Vishnu at home, he is a Kanishtha Dikari, not a Madhima. Madhima means he has to be philosophically sound and competent to guide people and take a sincerely shelter of the Lord, and his faith is very strong. Very strong. Madhava's faith is very strong. But still it is philosophy, not realization. Uttama is seeing everything. There is no theory remaining for him now. You know, no other Shastra says Krishna is that side, he is seeing also. That is called Uttama situation. 
which is very rare. Now, Uttama personality become this. It's like somebody from Gaikunda coming and walking in this world. It's very, very rare. Very rare. Uttama Bhakta are very rare in this world. Rarely they are visible in this world. Madhima you can find and we take advantage. We take guidance. That's fine. So in these ways we can discriminate and deal with devotees. You give all affection, love. And, and then you pay obeisances. It should be natural. It should not be artificial. The proper said nothing should be artificial. In this position of life. Okay? Should be natural. Yes. And then comes Uttama. Uttama means what do we do? We fully surrender. Now after this, something more to understand is that as a Madhima, we have to receive this word. In fact, we can apply this in the right world also. We should segregate the society into four categories. Some people are very innocent according to your condition, wherever you are, according to your realizations. Then there are some people who are the Lord itself, the Supreme Lord, all love for Then there are devotees of the Lord, all affection. And there are some people who become envious unnecessarily, ignorant. Don't agitate yourself, be peaceful. So these four kind of classification we should do to practically live in this world. If we do not make company with the devotees, we will make company with non-devotees. Why is this principle so important? Association, Sangha, Sanjayate, Kama. When you open your heart, or somebody is opening your heart, and you absorb everything that is telling, you may absorb some wrong desire. How do you do that? How do you be careful in association? Just like, suppose you are a doctor, and you go to some place where there is an epidemic. Now the rain has started, and mosquitoes will start, so many other diseases start. So at that time, even though you are dealing with patient, doctor is very careful not to get infected. So similarly, now if you say, I will not deal with non-devotees, you cannot go to office, you cannot live in the flats where you are living or in a society. How do you do that? How do you remain disinfected? A beautiful principle is being taught here by Rupa Goswami. Six ways of dealing in this world. Somebody may be, even a member of your family, somebody may be a roommate in your hostel. Just take care of this. Just like a doctor is telling how to remain. You know, sometimes it does happen. Uh, the person next to you is even AIDS patient. But some care you take, you will not get infected. Sometimes people get unnecessarily scared when they are next to an AIDS patient. Correct? They say, cuffs also run away. You know? But if you know the signs, you can be them, you can even live with them, but you will not get infected. You know, you have to be careful. So similarly, how do you live in this world without getting infected? Well, the Rupa goes under that bias. He's saying two living entities, their Sangha happens in six ways. Take care of it. Don't make the Sangha with Asat. What is Asat? Asat Sangha Tyaga E Vaishnavachara Stri Sangi Eka Krishna Abhaktamara Asat means two. Asat means, number one, who is interested in material enjoyment. You know, enjoying spirit. Devotee has no enjoying spirit. Like the example we have of Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur was sitting and chanting, Hare Krishna Mantra, I used to chant 192 rounds every day. Prabhupada's order is to chant 16 rounds every day. That takes two hours. If somebody knows the benefit he will be very glad and happily chant. Suppose the doctor says, take the 250 milligram, your health is fine. If, if he has faith in the doctor, he will not play with that 250. He will take full, very gladly and happily. This will protect me for the day. Then again, next day, he needs, he needs a dose. Correct? The effect slowly rains down. So similarly, we chant Hare Krishna Mantra, the order of Prabhupada is 16 rounds. It takes two hours, not big deal. Haridas Thakur used to chant 16, you know, 12 times of that. Practically 24 hours he was chanting, he was hardly sleeping. And he did not do for one day, he did it his whole life. Amazing it is. One day you cannot do, challenge, you will go mad. And he did it whole life. 
So what happened once, you know, Krishna arranges test so that the devotees come out victorious and devotees glorified in that. Prahlad Maharaj, you know, was tested in so many ways, but he never forgot his meditation on Krishna. Huh? He never lost his faith in Krishna. Why so much difficulty is coming? I am worshipping Krishna. His father was trying to kill him. But his faith in Krishna was undisturbed. And on top of it, he was never angry at his father. Amazing. He was never angry. Rather than his father was killed, he to pray to Narsimhadava, please forgive my father. In his heart, he was not... Imagine how much offense we will take if somebody tries to even uh, scold us angry. We become so offended. He never attempted to kill him. His heart was too pure. We cannot imitate that. So now, Haridhar Shakur was sitting and chanting and then what happened? Somebody got he was honored in the whole town. And, but he was a Muslim by birth. How does it matter? He was chanting constantly. But people, whole town was honoring him and they used to come and pay obeisance and just maybe take his darshan and go. Because people in India previously were very serious in Krishna consciousness. Today they are not. Today they are taking Sangha of not the sadhus. They are interested in Sangha in the TV of so many obnoxious people. Correct? Mostly they are interested in uh, all this Sangha. They are not interested in sadhu Sangha. They are interested in Asad Sangha. And where the Asad Sangha they take? TV, internet, newspaper, magazine, novels. And then after that, people were constantly hearing this. Just like recently there was an incident, a national outrage happened for them. That Gohati mob tried to strip a girl. Mob. It looks like the whole society is degraded to this level or what? And the reporter, instead of doing something to stop it, is happily recording that. You know, it's a whole... Uh, everything is... People are questioning that what has happened to in India. Yes. Sangha, Sanjayate, Kama. This is a reserve of the media. You know, media which is trying to show that actually, see, it is bad. Sir, you are yourself responsible for giving garbage to society. Result is this. Now what's the result? You know, we cannot say we are innocent. They cannot say they are innocent. Look at any channel, any newspaper, any TV. So much garbage is thrown out. Then what is going to happen? Temperature will increase. When temperature increases, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, what happens? People go mad. That is what we see the madness. We see our result of the work we have done. Huh? It's not the media only responsible, but they are to a large extent responsible. So this is very important actually. So person should be very, very careful. So how does he do in this world? How does he act? Yes. So, uh, okay, so Haridas Thakur, let me just complete the story of the show. Haridas Thakur was constantly associating with the Lord, Lord's holy name. Huh? Abhinato Naam Naam Naam. What is the shloka? Naam Chinta Mani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Poona Yes. Poona Shuddha. It is purest thing. Uh, the holy name of the Lord is Nama Chintamani Krishna. It is the purest thing in this world. It is the Lord Himself. And you are sitting in the holy name of the Lord practically 24 hours every day. Correct? When you go near fire, you also become like fire. So, only a most unfortunate man, in fact, it is worn. I was reading in Chaitanya Charitamrita where Prabhupada talks to Haridas Thakur past time. He says that this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's moment today is giving an opportunity to go back to Godhead. If somebody doesn't take this opportunity, even in million kalpas, he cannot be saved. Because the moment you miss an opportunity, say Krishna gives an opportunity, the moment you miss, that opportunity may not come again. In human form of life, I have a chance to change my consciousness. That opportunity does not come in animal form. Animals are also changing their consciousness but by experience, which is a very gradual process. Very gradual process to change the consciousness by experience. Human form of life is changing the consciousness also, also by experience, but also by hearing, by associating. 
animal has no opportunity to change consciousness as a seer. If somebody is conscious here, you associate with them. It's an emergency level. Tuck you go. Krishna, tuck you go. Maybe <laughs> it is a supreme consciousness. Correct? And Rasavikraha. He is like full of spiritual pleasures. So this Harida Swakaran is associating with the Lord's holy name and is drinking unlimited ocean of pleasure. And here is a man who gets envious of him. He sends a prostitute so that he because we are whatever way we are, we think the world is like that only. Hmm? We think the world is like we are. Atomak Manate Jagat Dandashtoka. So he thinks like that. He says, uh, simply making a show. I will send a prostitute and show to the whole society. He is also like that only. In the middle of night, he sends. Harida Stakur is chanting, chanting. He is in an ocean of pleasure. He sees middle of night a girl coming. In the bathing time, it can be only a prostitute. <laughs> no chaste lady or a girl will come out in the middle of night outside. So anyway, she comes in. Harida Stakur understand who is she. But he is great as an Acharya. He is, great. He is you know, merciful. Yes. What do you want? Uh, I want to embrace you. <laughs> Still not. You sit down, just let me finish my japa. After that, I will fulfill your desire. And he continues chanting. And he is sitting. He has nothing, no deities. He is just a Tulsi plant. And he is chanting. And she also, because she is also part of the Vedic culture, and she is in the Vedic time. She understands Tulsi is there. She pays obeisance. And in between, hurry, hurry, what to do all night, waiting, waiting, waiting. And morning comes, she understands. She said, you cheated me. Whole night, you know, uh, you were uh, chanting and you didn't finish. You said you will finish chanting. What to do? One oath is there. Every day I have to chant one night to do mala. That brata I have taken. I am very sorry. Today I am beginning now only. Come, early you come. <laughs> he is cheating her. And next day again, chanting, chanting and night gets over. And again in between, she also says, hurry, 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 hurry. And third day again, she comes. And he says, today certainly you said, just I will finish quickly now. Please fast today. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And she hears, 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 hears. What happens? She's hearing from whom? A person is experiencing ocean of pleasure. What happens to her? She starts crying first. Falls at his feet. My God, please forgive me. You know, my heart, I am so degraded. What offense I was committing, I did not even understand. And you know, this all happened. He said, I understood who will come in middle of night. I understood somebody, somebody must be planning, must have planted you here. That's okay. I will go from here now. She said, Before that, give me Diksha. So he initiates her. And she, all the whatever she had earned through a simple profession, she donates it to temples and sits down there chanting 192 rounds, 192 rounds every day. And he chanting the name of the Lord God. So he doesn't want to stay in that town any longer. Because the devotee don't want to get involved in all this. You know, some crazy color is there. Later he is punished by the arrangement of the Lord very heavily. That happens. If you offend a Vaishnava, the Lord will not stay. You know, Draupadi was offended by the Kauravas. In the beginning of Mahabharata, Krishna request, Arjuna request Krishna, can he forgive them? Krishna says, no. One of the strong reasons for that was how they had tortured Pandavas all life, whole life, and particularly they had offended a great devotee, a woman, helpless woman, who was also a great devotee. Krishna was not going to spare them. Actually, Krishna had already decided to kill them for that offense. So, Therefore, we have to carefully deal. So, how do we deal? Hmm? The dealing is this. That we need to advance in Krishna consciousness. First, the goal should be there. Yes, goal is I want to become a great devotee. You become devotee by association, not by any other way. You associate with the holy name, just like I gave an example. Iron rod is there. It's hot. You tell somebody the rod. Hot rod. It's iron only. No? Touch it. If it touches, it's like fire. Okay? So, same way, electric wire may be there. It's 240 volt current. Somebody's wire only. You know? Touch it, he gets a shock. So, similarly, there are five mercies of Krishna in this world which are actually.
spiritualized and we have discussed many times but revised to understand the deities not marga it is spiritualized already lord is there not inside it the form is now the lord no way different abhinatva we chanting kirtan now what is there some sound kirtan not lord is there here submissively that's why we are why we come gather once a week all of us are benefiting because together we are associating with krishna who is the supreme pure then we are repeating the message of the shastra we are associating with the acharyas we are associating with shastra and huh? prashada we are associating with that so all the different ways actually association has to be done now this association is cultivated association of devotees in company of devotees so all the similarly interest to associate with the five mercies of the lord so the first thing is that two jeevas how do they become friends one jeeva meets another jeeva in this world they invite him for would you like to come for you know we generally what people do outside nowadays nobody invites at home they take to some hotel okay. and there they feast the person the home nobody wants to cook also you know so many people so they go to hotel and then they feast that is one way people do next what so that is one way and the person also invites you in fact many business people what they have this rotary or this basically they feast together over a dinner they talk you know people talk a lot when they are we had this experience in janmashtami last janmashtami we had one big auditorium for our like kirtan and all but there was no taste there but people we had another huge auditorium in the tma by some massive where we had the dinner there they are there for one and a half hours talking talking over it there five minutes they could not hear a lecture true they were right there and when they start eating they are talking and talking all or they are talking all the grand kata now new chief minister has come this has happened this has happened they're talking all the grand kata but there no interest in krishna kata the taste is not there so because i want to advance in krishna consciousness first thing is that uh, i exchange interaction with other jeeva one way is food i offer it with in uh, devotees we don't offer bhoga we offer prashadam the other person what also it is because prashadam is not easy you have to cook with devotion you have to very cleanly cook. offer to the lord and invite come 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 i also want to offer it. that is the two jeevas have interaction it's a sweet deal number one number two we exchange gifts the person gives something we may give a donation or something and then we also give something in our movement what we can give we give some books so then third is we reveal the mind you know of this problem i have now is and i want to become serious but we reveal our you know our situation and the devotee also reveals you know and he reveals whatever realizations he has of krishna consciousness so in this way association is facilitated now even if you have an office worker with you or some servant in the office or your friend in the college don't do these things with them six things unless he is a devotee he says yeah i want to come on party is there generally the parties of non devotees been drinking always excuses are enough there Sometimes some of the students used to tell me, "Sir, my friends are fed up. Every weekend you have an excuse, huh? Yeah, you know, my father has called me. You know, there I have to go. Something. Some avoid. Don't it? You know, don't associate. Be very careful. And even I had a very bad, terrible experience when I joined company. And that's true. Every weekend, now in the college itself, they want to drink, but money is not there every weekend. When they are working, the money is there. so they blow the money every weekend they blow the money now what to do actually very difficult and sometimes they used to drag me because my roommate it's all like that and you go there you are out of place you are fish out of water because they drink they eat meat they eat what nonsense and they talk rubbish is better not to go better not to go so all oh, the hassle and excuse and avoid actually you know we we cannot be with them just like crows and hamsa should not mix together it's a different place crows like garbage bin hamsa likes a clean water now if the hamsa goes to crow space he will not be happy crows goes to hamra place they will not be happy correct so then god has given them this world is meant for that 
have to do. They have been given some place, let them sit on a garbage bin. Don't go, just like a cinema hall, it's nothing but a garbage bin. Don't go there. You know, so much Rajaguna, Tamaguna will come inside. You know. So we should be careful. So it doesn't matter now. You are living with them. Don't eat with them. Be careful. Yes. Number two, don't exchange gifts. Yeah, I want to give you. Because you are creating an attachment unnecessarily. See what happens. Just like germs go from one person to another person, bacteria, desires also go. If you are not submissive, it will not touch you. If you are submissive, it will go inside. Therefore, somebody may have a lot of material achievements. Don't give any value for that. That is where we get trapped. Bhoga and Aishwarya, if you are somebody is having, he is having a lot of money, he is having a lot of girlfriends, and we become Bhoga. Oh, he is so successful. Even slight you are giving him honor for those mundane things. You become submissive to him. And that is how, as I investigated in the hostel, people get trapped. You know, some students come, he is from a rich home. Not rich, richness is not a problem. Too much richness is a problem. Too rich a person generally goes mad. And then you also show that off. That used to happen in some college. And he tries to give them vices and easily they take. Because they are he is like an idol for them. You know, he has the best of the brand clothes, he has the best of like you know, society say elder, they have the best of the car. We become very submissive. But he doesn't have any personal quality. You have to, you have to destroy yourself. He you can easily destroy you. Because you are submissive to him unnecessarily. We have to be very discriminative to where Prabhupada said, before you hear somebody, you should know whom you are hearing. If you hear your Mayavadi, the spiritual life is gone. If you hear uh, to a Sri Sangi, because a desire to enjoy this world is there, strong desire to enjoy this world is there. Uh, and the epitome of material enjoyment, the culmination of material enjoyment is sex life. We were discussing karmi, jnani, yogi, bhakta. Only a karmi deals with sex life. Jnani, yogi, bhakta has no interest in it. Spiritual life means it should be deleted out. Karmi is an animal. He is interested in it. Jnani Yogi Bhakta is not interested in sex life. But in joy means he is interested in all those things. And therefore Karmi means he is interested in Bhakti, Bhogi. And culmination of Bhoga is sex life. So therefore Sri Sangi is the end. Anybody interested in mental enjoyment, keep away from him. Asat is Asat. Keep away from him. Don't hear him submissively. We should be very careful. So if he comes and reveals his mind to you, yeah, it was so nice. I saw a movie. I tell you how it was. And just come on. Be careful. <laughs> we, you know, mind should be very alert. That's why Prabhupada said, don't read newspapers. Because why? Half newspaper, suddenly one naked girl's photo will be there. And so you have to sit with that. Then your mind becomes unnecessarily agitated. Because these are all garbage bins actually. Garbage bins. You have to be very careful. You will go inside a garbage bin to pick out something. Mostly you will get kachari. You will hardly have to pick out something valuable. So you have to be very careful. Not to associate. So what are the things? Exchanging gift, taking gift. Giving some food, taking food. And what is the last thing? Revealing mind and hearing mind. Be very careful. In that way, you can protect but already Krishna consciousness we have. Krishna consciousness will not grow. It's an eternal asset. But unwanted desires of sense gratification will enter your heart and agitate you. And once sense gratification enters the heart of a devotee, his spiritual life is choked. It will not grow then. So we have to be very careful. And it's a very scientific process he has given. Try to think about it. Two jivas become intimate because of the six dealings only. These six dealings are carefully done with the devotees. With the devotees, openly. Just like Prabhupada used to say, in this world, our dealing should be disinterested, obligatory, duty. We have to work in the office. Yes, disinterested. But I have to do. Why? Obligatory duty. I have to take care of this world. If your name is work will make you happy, it will make you mad. You see all around surrounded by crazy people. Yes. But obligatory duty after. But when you come to Krishna, not disinterested. It's not that I have to dress it to be 
<laughs> God added it. I have to cook for the DDs today. I have to clean the temple today. No. Fully interested and happily, you know, you should be eager to serve Krishna. The material work, it is done in a disinterested way. The material studies also are done in a disinterested way. But it's not the have to read Bhagavad Gita today. Market. No. It should be happily done. And so we should carefully discriminate this phenomena, the principle of association. And please meditate upon this point and be careful. Sometimes we see that even though I'm chanting, I'm reading, I'm uh, doing everything, it is just like iron rod. If it's put on fire, it should keep heating up more and more. Similarly, if I am morning and evening every day doing sadhana, I should only grow in faith and devotion to Krishna. But I see a faith and devotion is wobbling. And I see some disturbances entering my system. Watch out from where it is coming. Some place your submissive will listen. TV, somebody speaks a hero with a great accent, a very handsome person. You listen to him. You have absorbed some unwanted thing into you. So be very careful that these six dealings of submissively associating with somebody, revealing your mind or hearing him, giving him gift or taking or sharing food, these things are done with devotees. Your spiritual life is protected. Prabhupada ki, Shri Shok, Shri Upadesha Amrita ki, Shri Rupa Goswami ki,